Come on. Let's get up. Okay, your next tip is this. Always look around, look about. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, the preposition around or about with a phrasal verb, they just mean moving in no specific direction. So like, for example, it's good to keep moving around. Keep being active. Also, you really should play around. Keep that brain happy. Another meaning of about would be to indicate a subject. You talk about something, you think about something, you write about something. About just means you indicate the subject. Okay, your next tip is this. You have to remember that zombies, they will never quit. They will continue trying to get you. Oh, and the preposition with continue in phrasal verbs is on. So we could say like, they're going to carry on trying to kill you. They're going to go on and on until you're dead. Now the other meaning of on in phrasal verbs is like starting a function on a machine or sometimes connecting two things together. Like when you say get on the bus or put on some clothes. It's like you're connecting the bus to yourself or your clothes to yourself. Yeah. So if for example, oh my God, look over there. Look, Tom, quick, turn the radio on. It'll distract the zombies. Quick, get Hannah! So you remember the phrasal verbs with the preposition on? Yeah, it means like a continuation or connection or something. So logically, if on is a connection, off, it's like a separation. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So you see how off has that feeling of a disconnect, a separation of something. The preposition shows what happened and the verb shows how it happened. In this case, my arm was separated. How? From a bite. So I would say, she bit my arm off. If I just say she bit my arm, well that just means she bit it. Nothing separated. But I want to say specifically it's separated, she bit my arm off. Ugh. Oh, oh no. Okay, you need to get off the carousel, both of you. But run away, run far away. Quick, Come on. I'm really sorry what happened back there, but you just need to finish with those feelings. You need to stop them dead. And I know you feel bad now, and I know you think it's a bad situation, but you just need to be finished with those feelings. Oh, and when you are finished with feelings, or when you are finished with something, you can say, I am over it. I'm over Ali. I know this is very, very hard for both of us, and very, very difficult. The preposition of having a difficult experience is through. We've been through a lot, but we're going to get through this. You should sleep. I'm glad you survived that zombie fight anyway, you know? But just lately, I'm just not feeling it. I'm over it. I just want to quit. I just want to give up. What mm. do you think? No. When you put it that way. Hey, should we go get firewood? Okay, we'll be right back. She does have a good point. Maybe I should just be more positive. Have a positive outlook. Wouldn't it be funny if I did something? <gasps> <gasps>